Hi everyone. Today I'm bringing to you release 6 of VP Studio. There's only really one feature here, and that's compatibility with Unreal 4.26 and the ability to use Live Link to read your Vive trackers. If you've been working with Vive trackers for a while, you probably know that you'll constantly have to fiddle around with Steam to get them to work right. There's always something going on, like uh, needing to redo the mappings or changing the roles of the trackers. Well, with Live Link, pretty much all that is gone, so it's a big improvement. To use Live Link, you don't really need to do much setup. The latest release, release 6 of EP Studio, is already set up to use it. All you really have to do is go in and turn on a plugin, connect to Live Link, and you're away. So the first thing you need to do, you can go up into Settings, Plugins, and you can type Live to see Live Link. In order to use Live Link, the main Live Link plugin has to be enabled, like you see here, and the Live Link XR plugin has to be enabled here. Once you enable these, you won't be able to use trackers through Steam motion controllers anymore. The next step is to go into the Windows area here and bring up the Live Link window. You can see it here, and you click on Source, and you should see LiveLink XR Source right here. So the first thing you need to do is make sure all of your trackers and controllers that you're going to use are turned on. Then just go and click Source, LiveLink XR, tell it you want to track your trackers and your controllers. The local update rate here, I'm not sure about the best setting for that. So for the now, I'm just setting it to a multiple of my frame rate, which is 24. So I've set it to four times that, which is 96. And then press add. And there's all your trackers and controllers all in one place. And they all have the serial numbers that you see when you're looking at them in Steam. These little green lights next to each tracker indicate that LiveLink is getting data from them. If it stops getting data for some reason, that'll go yellow. The nicest thing about LiveLink is that it runs in the editor's edit mode. So if you look at the screen right now, you can see that in the VP Studio Comp subwindow, I'm seeing the live composite. And in the main window, you can see that all of my cameras and trackers are actually where they are in the real world. I can reach over and move my camera and here in the editor, we actually see everything move. You probably noticed just then when I moved the camera that the tracking and the live camera were not in sync. With Live Link, you don't have to set the delays in the tracker objects anymore. You set them in Live Link itself. So you come into the Live Link window again. You click on the main source right here. And then you set the offset down there in seconds. So I need 0.16 for my setup. I just type that in, hit return, I can close that window, and now when I move the camera, you can see it's in sync. This makes it much easier to get the right delay on your trackers because you can adjust it into fractions of a second instead of in frames. So if you need a slightly different delay, you can do it. The other thing that's nice about using LiveLink is that you can make all your adjustments to mats and anything else in the scene right in the editor without having to press play. You can go and click on the main comp right here and it'll come up. You can click maximize and you'll get a nice big view of it. And then if you need to adjust anything, like for example, I'll go down to the desk mat here, like making the desk mat a different size. You can see it right here live in the editor. The only other change needed to do this is you'd use a different tracker object. Previously, we were using these trackers that were based on the motion controller in Unreal. Now we have a tracker that's also that's based on LiveLink. You just need to drag one of these out, attach it to your first talent mark, like always, zero the location values and rotation values, same as before, and then you click on the LiveLink tracker that you're configuring and set up this stuff. As usual, you can set it up as a controller or a tracker. You can make it lockable or not. You can draw the, Im the CG image of the tracker if you want. You can set the order that this will appear on in the telemetry screens that I've showed a few tutorials ago. 
And the one new thing is this live link tracker to use. Now I'm going to bring the live link window up again. As you can see, every one of these trackers has a little serial number next to it. And when I pop open this, you can see the same list here. Now why all of them are checked and there's no real easy way to see which one is selected, I don't know. But all you really have to do is select the right tracker and that's it. If you're not sure which tracker is attached to what, the easiest way to find out is just to attach one of the trackers to your first live link tracker object and then go around the room and jiggle the trackers till you see it move. Then you know what device it's attached to. The other way to know how things are set up if you previously have been using motion controller type trackers, you must have set up tracker roles in Steam. So you can always go back to Steam, Devices, Manage 5 Trackers, click the Manage 5 Tracker button, and you can look at your old role settings to see which serial number you attach to what function. The roles don't matter anymore. Everything goes by these serial numbers. This is just another way that you can tell which serial number used to be attached to what role. The other thing you may notice is that these great big blue cameras are everywhere. The way you get rid of those is just come over to the world outliner and click the little eyeball next to compositing elements and they all go away. Every compositing element generates at least one of those big blue cameras. I'm not sure why they're so enormous. They're over a meter long. By the way, since you can now see the position of everything in editor, you don't really need to use the inspection camera anymore. Eventually I'll remove that completely. For right now, just set your setup up by clicking VP Studio Comp, going down to output and setting the output to player viewport, and then just leave it there. There's no need to change it back and forth anymore like you used to to use the inspection camera because the inspection camera really isn't necessary. You can just do things in the editor. If you've been using my tracker telemetry system to get graphs of your trackers and test them, there is a small change here. You can see that there's a new multiple live link tracker telemetry. So when you want to get output from all your trackers at once to the graphing program, if you're using live link, you need to use this one. There's no change to the other ones. You can still use the single telemetry sender just like you used to. The only other change is in the measuring gadget. There's a measuring gadget that works with the old motion controller based trackers and another one that works with the live link trackers. Just use the right one and you'll be fine. In the maps section, there's also a live link core map as well as the old two camera core map. And the VP demo map now uses the core live link map, while the VP motion controller demo map uses the old VP Core 2 camera setup. So both setups, Live Link and the motion controller based trackers, are still here if you need them. I think most people will want to use Live Link from now on, unless you have a tracking device or a tracking plugin that has to go through a motion controller. So I'll keep the motion controller stuff around. Please let me know if you're using it. I think that's just about everything you need to know to use VP Studio Release 6 with Unreal 4.26 and LiveLink. Please remember that this release only works with Unreal 4.26 and higher. Don't try to use it with 4.25. If you're not ready to move off of 4.25 yet, there's no reason to grab this release because the only change is the compatibility with 4.26 and the LiveLink update. If you're using this template in your own projects, please let me know. It's always nice to know if people are having problems or if they're able to use it to do their own work. If you've got a project you can show, I'd really love to see it. You can send me a link and I'll try to promote it here on the channel, or you can go to the Discord, linked in the upper right hand corner of my channel banner, and post your work in the showcase section for other people to see. Don't worry if your work isn't perfect. These people are not going to dress you down. They'll help you. That's all for now. Hope to be hearing from you soon.